Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have a Tesla Model 3 in the shop and as you guys can see, it has paint transfer. Unfortunately, this car was set outside and someone sideswiped it and just drove off. But today in this video, I'll be showing us how to properly remove paint transfer from painted surfaces using a Hexlogic hand pad and VSS. But before we get into the polishing part, we're gonna start off with the beginning. The beginning is going to be considered by using an EcoSmart waterless squash. As you guys can see, I don't have running water and all I want to do is just wipe down the surface. So I have my EcoSmart waterless squash. It has a wax base to it, so it's actually going to enhance the shine. It's also going to protect it. But in this occasion, I just want to use it just to just go ahead and clean off the surface. So before using it, I'll just shake up EcoSmart waterless squash. Then I'll go to the bumper and I'll just lightly mist it. And I also want to show you guys that using EcoSmart water to squash is not going to remove this paint transfer because this paint transfer is embedded itself into the paint of this Tesla. So I just went ahead and just wiped it off and nothing came off. But by me just washing it using EcoSmart water to squash, I just made sure I don't have any dirt, grime or filth that is sitting on the paint. So like this, whenever I go to clay bar it, it won't be embedding itself deeper into the paint. So the reason why I want to move on to a clay bar process is because if I rub my hand on it, it has contamination all over it. So all of that contamination has embedded itself into the pores of the paint. And if I grab my VSS polish and I start polishing, whether it's using by machine or by hand, I don't want to be pushing those contaminants deeper into the paint. So today I'll be using the light duty clay bar. The light duty clay bar is going to remove any contamination that has embedded itself into the bumper of this paint. So I'll just open up my little flap and then I already have a little piece cut off. So Chemical clay bars, they're actually very big and has this plastic film over it. So whenever you're using it, just take it off, put it back in here and store it away. The reason why we always recommend using a small portion is just because if you drop it, you misplace it, you have more to work with when you can just come back to this little box, open it up and get another piece. Or just in case if you have a super contaminated car and you need to replace your clay bar, you have a secondary piece right here. So I'll put this back into my freeloader and I'm keeping my arsenal close down here using my freeloader. The freeloader is also available on our website right now, chemicals.com. But I also need to have a lubricant to clay the surface of this car. So I'll be using clay luber. The reason why I want to pair a lubricant with a clay bar is because this clay bar is super sticky. I mean, if I put it onto this bottle, you guys can see it just sticks onto it. That's how sticky it is. So by having a lubricant like clay luber, it's going to help me glide the clay bar across the surface of this paint without scratching it or cause clay marring. So all you need to do is just go to the surface you're working on, lightly mist on it, and I'll grab my clay bar and I'll knead it out into a three width finger. A three width finger is more than enough to do this whole entire bumper. And this small piece can actually go ahead and clay up this whole entire car about two to three times because it doesn't have that much contamination. That's how I went with the light duty clay bar. After I spray some onto my bumper, I'll spray some onto my clay as well. And I'll just go to it and I'll just start claying side to side. And this is just ensuring myself I don't have any contamination on the paint because I, like I told you guys, I do not want to rub any more contamination deeper into this paint because I don't want to cause scratches or swirls. Let me make sure I get down here too. And I'm just giving it a couple passes. So like this, when I go to polish it out using my Hexlogic hand pad, it's contaminant free. And my polish is going to help me break down all the contamination and the paint transfer that's on this Tesla bumper. So after clay barring it, I'll put everything back into its place. I'll put that back onto my cubby. I'll put this back into my clay bar and I'll store this away for next time. Now I'll just grab a clean microfiber towel. I'll buff off the residue of the clay lubricant and now it is time to get into the polishing part. So now that we're gonna move on to the polishing part, this is where it's gonna start removing all the, the contaminants and the paint transfer. But before we get into the polishing part, if I grab my hand and I start rubbing it side to side, you guys don't hear any contamination. And anytime you polish your car, whether it's by using it by hand or using a machine, we always recommend clay barring so you won't push those contaminants deeper into the paint. So today I'll be using VSS scratch and swirl mover. VSS is going to be able to break down scratches and swirls as well as paint transfer on painted surfaces, glossy plastics as well. So before using it, just shake it up. And the reason why I didn't use a polisher today is because it does have this paint chip right here and down here. So I want to prevent any high heat or any fast motion going over that surface. So I'll grab my VSS scratch and swirl mover. I'll put one, two, three onto my Hex Logic hand pad. And I am using the orange one. The orange one has a medium duty cut. And since I am going to be adding a lot of tension to this paint, I'll, I will also spray down my hand pad using pad conditioner, just so I could moisten the pad whenever I go side to side and up and down. 
So now we'll go to the surface. We're going to start removing the paint transfer. We'll blotch it out. And I'm just going to start working in side to side. And then immediately you start seeing that VSS starts breaking down all this paint transfer that unfortunately is on this Tesla. Once I go sideways, I'll go up and down and I'll just work it in until it starts completely breaking it down. So anyways, guys, let's break it down. As you guys can see, VSS and the Handhex Logic handpad did an amazing job at removing the contamination that was sitting on this part of the bumper. Now we do have a curve to it and we have some more contamination down here. So all you want to do is just grab VSS scratch and swirl remover and then you'll add a couple more dots to your Handhex Logic handpad. And we do offer the Handhex uh, handpad in different colors. So we offer it in the orange one, the white one, and the black one. The black one is just to spread out waxes. And then the orange one has the most cut to it, and the white one has the lightest cut to it. But in this occasion, since we are dealing with a lot of contamination and paint transfer, we went with the orange pad. So since I am going side to side, I'll grab my pad condition once again. I'll respray my hand pad just so I can reduce tension on the surface of paint. I'll blotch it out. Just keep this in mind, I didn't went with the polisher approach because I do have this paint chip right here and I don't want to add high speed to it. So I'll just blotch it out and all you want to do, like I was telling you guys, just go side to side and up and down and it immediately starts breaking down the contamination. So once you go vertical, you can start going horizontal or vice versa. And like this, you get the contamination fully out of your paint. All right guys, so now that we just finished working off the contamination off this bumper, I'll just grab a clean microfiber towel and just buff off the residue left by VSS. And you guys can see the results are night and day different. Using the HexLogic hand pad and VSS, I went ahead and removed all the contamination and paint transfer that sat on this bumper right here. But obviously there's gonna be certain areas that unfortunately that can't come back, like right here, the paint actually got chipped and down here as well. But I would take this result any given day over the results I had before with the bumper looking disgusting and has a lot of contamination on it. So guys, if you guys want to pick up any of these products today that I use in this video, you can hop onto our website right now, chemicalguys.com, or you can stop by your local detail garage. I recommend you do so. It's a detailer's paradise. We have over 85 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your fabric shine with Chemical Guys.